Welcome to Celebrity Chatter, Things That Matter with Elijah, and that's me. I'm interviewing David Howard Thornton. How did you feel about getting the role of Art the Clown? I was so excited because I was already a fan of the character because I had seen All Hallows Eve with Mike Giannelli's performance mm-hmm. of that. And I was like, oh my God, I, I get to play him now. Mm-hmm. And I, I, was, I was so excited. I, I, I've, cause I've always wanted to play a character like that. So I, w- I was dancing for Joe. I got cast as both Art and Joker in a YouTube series mm-hmm. the same week. So that was an awesome week for me. My second question is, how long does it take to complete costume and makeup of Art the Clown? It originally took about four hours to do all that, but now we've gotten it down to about an hour, an hour and a half to put all that on. So we, we've, we figured it out. <laughs> My third question is, did the director ever let you improv any parts that made it into the final product of the movie Terrifier? We, yes, he um, Damien's let me do a lot of improvisation, like uh, a lot of the, the faces I'm making during the pizzeria scene in the first film is impro- improvisation. Uh, when I Give the Bird was an improv. <laughs> um, in the second film, a lot of the, uh, the scene with the possum, I'm doing a lot of improvisation. I'm also doing a lot of improvisation with the uh, costume shop scene. Because yeah. he lets me play a lot, so it's a lot like, of fun. Like the flower glasses and oh, stuff. Exactly. And then like... Of course, all yeah. that. That was all just me goofing around. Did any of the scenes you were in for the movie Terrifier make you feel uncomfortable? I would say like not like psychologically uncomfortable because I understood this was all fake and everything mm-hmm. like that. But I would say physically uncomfortable, yes, because we, we filmed a lot in the very, very cold weather. So especially the first mm-hmm. film when we're doing the hacksaw scene, that was very uncomfortable because I was worried both about myself but also Catherine who played Dawn because she was having to be upside down the whole entire mm-hmm. time and I wanted to make sure she was okay and not getting hurt or anything like that. So I'm always making sure like my co-stars aren't hurt. So I, I'm more concerned about that than anything else. <laughs> so <laughs> that's when I get uncomfortable. Do you have any funny behind the scenes stories you could share? Yes, um, I've had the cops called twice on me on both films. Uh, the first film, I scared two ladies outside of uh, the window one night, and they oh called gosh. the cops, and the Trenton police showed up in like full-on riot gear, and they, the, the rest of the cast and crew pranked me by telling me there was someone that wanted to meet me, so I came out, and I come out, and there's an army oh of cops gosh. out there, and I was like, oh no, I'm going to die. <laughs> In the second film, when we're doing the laundromat scene, uh, someone called the cops and they showed up when I was not wearing any clothes. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> this, is, this is how you want to die. How did, how did that stuff turn out? It like, turned out fine. Oh, yeah, okay. they, they, they're like, oh, we see why we were called. <laughs> yeah. Um, what made you want to become an actor? Um... I really love entertaining people and making people laugh. Yeah. And that's that's how I got over a lot of the bullying I, I received in middle school and high school. I discovered I can make people laugh and people stopped bullying me when they discovered I was funny. <laughs> and so I was like, ah, I like this. And I, I like being able to get outside of myself and play other characters yeah. that are not like myself. So it, it's fun for me. I, I get to play pretend for a living and it's wonderful. So it, it keeps me young at heart. I love that. Yeah. If you can't laugh in your life, then what's the point? Exactly. Were you ever afraid of any monsters growing up? If so, which ones? Oh, see, it wasn't really monsters I was afraid of. I was more afraid of the dark because I didn't know what could be in the dark. Yeah. Like, it could be monsters like, or something. Like, like I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid what's in the dark. There's yeah. a difference. Yeah, yes. like dark <laughs> voids. I always have to have my... I'm still like this. I have to have all my closets closed and everything, all the doors closed before I go to bed because yeah. I just don't like... A, a dark void there because I always just imagine eyes looking at me through it. I'm like, ooh, no. I always imagine Art the Clown looking at me. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that's <laughs> scary. <laughs> My last question is, mm-hmm. is there any type of movie or character you would like to play in the future? Oh, yes. Uh, the biggest one for me would to be... Um, the Joker. That would put a smile on my face. Because I want to do it right. Because all of Hollywood, they've been just making a clown of him. And I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for being on my show. Oh, thank you for and having me. There you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This was fun. Uh -huh.